Good day, guys. You're welcome to my YouTube channel. I remember myself, Francis Uche. Today, the previous class, we discussed on light rays, which was our number second practicals for our work 2021 in physics. But today, we'll be discussing about lightning, which is the number one practicals. And based on what we're asking, we should provide. We so we should provide um, two meter with two retro stand, a stopwatch, tread, and masses of 10 to 10 grams, 220 grams, and 250 grams, and we have digital weighing balance. So please, for this experiment, what I don't have right now is a weighing balance. So please try and get a weighing balance because we are going to use it to know the mass of the material. So, but irrespective of that, we can proceed to the practicals. From the um, illustration of the diagram that was given to us, we are told that um, the length of the thread to this point is 40 centimeters. And from here also to this point, which is held by the thread, is also 40 centimeters. And this is the meter root, as shown in the diagram. Uh, it, as shown in the figure. Yeah. Okay, so we also have, um, let's say we should set up the apparatus illustrated in the diagram above, which can locate the center of gravity and place a mass of 100 gram at the center of gravity. So, of course, we know that this is the, the second ruler that let's say we should get, the second meter rule, and you know, it will balance as, at exactly at the 50 cm mark. So the center of gravity is noted to be 50 watts cm. So we'll take that, we we'll note that. They say we should measure and record the length L, 40 cm each, as 10 cm mark. So from here to this point is 10 cm, and that is where you are going to fix your thread, 10 cm away. Then from here to here is also 10 cm away. That is where you are going to fix your thread also. And the center of gravity, this is a mass of 100 gram being placed at the center of gravity, which is at the 50 cm mark. So please, let's take note of that, okay? Let's say we should measure and record the length L of 40 cm each at the 10 cm mass, okay? We've done that, which is this. So the now say, measure the mass of the meter root with a weighing balance and record the value. MR. So what you're going to do for me is, I don't have a weighing balance here. So what you're going to do is to get a digital weighing balance, place the meter rule on top of the digital weighing balance, and you will get the, the, the mass of the meter rule. By, um, by the first question, they, they, are, they arrive at the mass of the meter rule to be equal to 135 grams. So that's just it. You use this to measure it and you get that. So let's proceed. They said, hold both ends of the rule and displace the rule slightly so that it oscillates about the vertical axis. Determine and record the time T for 10 complete oscillations. So what we are going to do right now is, as we have placed the 100 gram mass at the center of gravity, we are going to displace the, the ruler by a, a certain distance so that we can record 10 complete oscillations, the time of, for 10 complete oscillations. So that's what we are going to do right away. So for this case, I'll be using my phone as a stopwatch. So let's see what will happen. And what we are going to do right now is to displace this to a certain angle and we are going to measure the time for 10 complete oscillations. So follow me. Make sure that this 100 gram is at the center of what? Gravity. So which is at the 50 cm mark. So I'm going to displace this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I've gotten my time T to be 12, to be 12 seconds for 
40 centimeters, for a height of 40 centimeters. We take note that the D here stands for the distance between the two stands being displaced at certain, you know, this one was displaced at 10 cm, this one was displaced at 10 cm. So from here to here is equal to D, which is constant as 80 cm. Of course, you know, 80 cm is equal to 0 0.8 meters, and that is why here is constant 0 0.8 meter. So they said, okay, determine and record the time for 10 complete oscillation. We've done that. Determine the period T of the oscillation. Of course, you know that big T is equal to small t over 10. So we've gotten that. So we have to get our 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 big T. This will now be 12 over 10. We'll have here to be 1.2. Are we good? So they now say evaluate log t and log f. So that's what I'm going to do. Log t now is so we're going to use the calculator. Log t t is 1.2. So log 1.2 is equal to 0 0.08. Then let's say we should also evaluate log n. Log on h, sorry, log h, log h is this for this first one is 40, so we're having log 40 is equal to 1.60. So we've done that, we have evaluated that. So we repeat the procedures for four other values of f at 50 cm, 60 cm, 70 cm, and 80 centimeters. So what we are going to do is you are going to Release this because from here to here, from here to here was obtained to be 40 centimeters. Of course, we can see that 40 centimeters. So the next one you are going to do, you will displace this to 50 centimeters. This. And you take the value, you take your time for 10 complete oscillations. So that's what we are going to do. So for our values, the values that we are going to obtain for, for the sake of time, we are not going to be re re repeating the, the procedure, the practicals again. So what we are going to do is to, to make sure that it's at 50 centimeters and you are going to get your values for the T and the, the big T and log T and log H. So we are going for 50, we are going to obtain something slightly to be, okay, oh. we are going to obtain, if you release this as 50 centimeters and um, oscillate it a little at a certain angle, record the time also for 10 complete oscillations. You will find out that you will get um, another value of this to be within, let's say 14, this within 16, this within 18 and this within 20. And of course, you know that big T is equal to small t over 10, which is the number of our oscillations. We'll have 1.4, 1.6, 1.8, and 2.0. Right? Respectively, you can also guess for your values of log t, which is log um which is log. Okay, for this one, we are getting log 50 is equal to 1.69. Log, log, um, log 50, 1.69. Log 1.4 is equal to, log 1.4 is equal to 0 0.15. Log, log 1.6 is equal to 0 0.20 log 1.8 is equal to 0 0.25 log 2 is equal to 0 0.30 log um, 60 log 60 is equal to 1.78 log 70 
is equal to 0 0.8, log 7 is equal to 1.84, log 80 is equal to 1.90, respectively. So they now say, they said again that we should, um, okay, they said we should repeat the procedure for 50, 60, 70, and 80. And so on. Then they now say, okay, that we should plot a graph of log t against log h. So that's what we are going to do. Plot a graph of log t against log h. Then also determine the slope and the intercept on the vertical axis. And also they say we should take two precautions. So please, this is what we 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 might see. Although it's not really certain what it uh, we would encounter. But based on what they say we should provide, this is what we are supposed to see. So for the cases of this, um, the masses, the only place that I see that there is a little challenge is the masses that we're given here. But regardless of whatever thing they are going to say, this is the basic thing that they are going to ask. Please remember you have to measure the meter room so that you know the mass of the meter room. And also, depending on the, the ground, the the mass that we were told to, to place at the center of gravity. For this case, we are just using 100 gram. But we don't know, they might say use 150 gram. The, the only thing that you know is that after putting it at the center of gravity, we displace it, we record your time for complete, uh, for 10 complete oscillation or whatever oscillation that was asked. So, um, if you like my video, please like my video, subscribe, and also comment. Ask questions about the practicals so that I can know where to help us out and know where to also um, enlighten us more. There is another video that I will drop pertaining what I feel that will, that will come out in metrics. Stay tuned and remain blessed. I still remember my humble self, Francis Richie. Thank you.